was there a moment where you you just had that feeling like this is this is going to work out? I think that this is going to get really philosophical here for a second, sure. everybody. So bear with me, okay? It's, it might get a little smoky in here for a second. So if you really enjoy making music or like baking cakes or driving or whatever you really enjoy, if you can wake up every day and do that, then you're going to feel, feel fulfilled every day. And mm -hmm. then you're never going to have to worry about getting to some, some like finite point. And I feel like you see that a lot of times in the music industry where people do this for the wrong reasons and maybe get into it because they want to be famous or they're chasing something or they have like wild insecurities that they're trying to fill some sort of a void. And so at some point, this, your career will end as a human being or as a musician. doesn't matter what job you're doing. It's going to come to an end. And if your win is just by being known by people, then you're never going to win. So as long as you wake up and do what you enjoy every single day, you're going to get to whatever goal you set because you just enjoy doing it. You're never going to, it's never going to be a job. I have nothing to add to that, James. You nailed that on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While we're on a deep subject here, uh, we got a question from Fraser on Twitter who asks, did you cry at the end of A Star is Born? Yes or no? I went to see it in theaters and like... The movie, I don't want to, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> he's, like, uh, he's lost like his hearing. So the whole time the movie's going on and the music is loud, there was like this loud crackling like <laughs> And everyone was just like, oh, it must be part of the movie. And then halfway through the movie, I was like, this can't be right. Like, this, is, this is so wrong. So the guy beside me lock eyes and we're looking at each other. It's like, are you thinking the same thing? Like, yeah. Like, Arby's? So I walked out and they're like, oh, we have a blown speaker. So I just walked out and I never watched the end of it. Like, I'm assuming something bad happens now. Like, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen. Uh, I thought it was really good. Like, uh, I enjoyed the music and stuff. Obviously, Gaga is like an absolute powerhouse. Yeah. She's insane. I won't ruin the ending and stuff. It's a great movie. The songs are fantastic. He's fantastic. She's, you know, unbelievable and stuff. But yeah. um, I didn't cry. No, I didn't. Marley and me, different story. Yeah. The, no the notebooks are horrific. And a walk to remember. I, uh, it is what it is. Every single time. And Connor, any tears there? I haven't seen it. I can't stand music movies, like, period. I can't, except for Drumline, that movie's a gem. But other than that, <laughs> Nick what Cannon. Was <laughs> what was the drum movie that I saw and I can't... Oh, dude, I can't. The one he's in the drum school, like, for theater? Jazz, yeah. jazz drumming? I, I came back and I was like, dude, have you seen that drum movie? Yeah. He's like, I hate it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're just about to launch into how amazing it was, yeah.